Howdy folks, this is Bob back at you here. Uh, today we got uh, we got another project I uh, wanted to take care of and uh, this project's on my uh, 2016 Challenger. I've got a Challenger shaker here and uh, it uh, I got in a situation with it a couple years ago and uh, I've kind of bent up some stuff and uh, this uh, right rear tire's got some excessive camber in it and uh so i've got these uh bought these uh camber bolts off of amazon and uh what you can do and this is because there's no uh there's no adjustment no camber adjustment on these uh challengers or chargers in the rear uh, or for the front for that matter um, so this is one way you can uh um, this is one way that you can get some adjustability other than you can also buy some uh, aftermarket control arms for the front and on the back you can buy these uh, the one uh, control arm that adjusts the camber you can purchase it and it's adjustable um, they're a little more expensive I'm just gonna try and uh, pull these two uh, suspension bars off the top and I'm gonna put these two you just put two of them in and uh, I'm gonna try and knock those in today and uh, try and videotape it for you I've already got the uh, I've already got the car jacked up and we're nice and safe here as you can see always I've got a jack with, uh, with one wheel on it. it keeps creaking so I put some wood under there in case the uh, um, I'll probably let it down onto that wood but uh, I've already got everything loose here all I got to do is um, take this tire off real quick so I'm just gonna put this uh, camera down the the sun's out today which is nice um, but it kind of makes for hard time videotaping so filming let me adjust this and hopefully not turn off my volume and this should just come right off jack popping <laughs> hopefully it doesn't fall down yeah I had another set of tires on here and they uh, well they did last 10,000 miles they were used tires so um, but I've got these uh, I had another good set put on and I don't want them to wear out right away so um you can see this control arm here i've got to take off and then this uh suspension arm here i've got to take off and replace both these bushings here with the camera bushing so i'm going to get at that real quick and uh and we'll see how hard it is to i know these are 18 millimeter bo bolts so i'm only going to do one at a time because i don't want the uh, suspension to fall apart on me so i'll probably start with the um the main one first and if I'm even able to get that bushing in uh, which I'm gonna film then I'll go with the second one if not then I'll just you know have to put the one back on so we get started with that um, this is kind of a I don't know this is kind of a difficult spot to have to try and film so you know what I, I should go get my other tripod so let me go get my other tripod and then I'll start it back up all right, so uh, got the camera in place, and these these are both 18 millimeter which I might even, uh, probably pretty tight. They're 18 millimeter, both the nut and the bolt.
right. Nuts. Pretty loose. So all we got to do is get this one off. It's. Let's see if I got the right. Let's see if I got the right tools here to. I might have to go get a one of my swivels. See. Beautiful day today. Yeah. It's probably probably could be a little bit longer. We'll see if we can get it out. Rebuilt the whole back end of the car with uh, parts that I bought off of uh, from a salvage yard in Florida, and I did not change out the cradle. I changed all the suspension components, uh, but I didn't change the cradle. And I believe the cradle is tweaked. Uh, I, I, had, I know it's tweaked because wasn't tweaked I wouldn't have excessive camber on this side so I although I do have a cradle maybe that'll be a video for another time I think uh, the quickest thing to do is just to try and put these bushings in and we'll see how that goes Nice to have one of those electric ratchets right about now. When I was I had all kinds of cyber deals, but Black Friday, but I didn't see any of those on sale. So here I am again with wrenches. pressure on that it's kind of weird because that it popped like that that's actually huh, that's kind of weird because it's probably actually where it needs to be I don't know if I can get a shot of this but you can see when it the axle popped I still have the one bracket on you can see the holes don't line up and so I may I may get away with just doing one of these because you're supposed to do this one and this one but because of uh, <clears throat> because of the damage to my uh, cradle I might be able to get away with just doing this main one right here because this one needs to be longer because it the suspension kind of popped in place of course it does rotate though It does I guess it does kind of when you push it back up I guess it kind of wants to be right there but I don't know I'm gonna get this bar off here and uh, just like that and 
So what you do is you knock this bushing out and you replace it with this one. So, and since this is like this, this is how it goes in the car. So this, well, I'll get the camera. So basically, you can lengthen the rod by re putting this bush again like this, and it makes the hole more forward and gives you more more camber, more uh, positive camber, I believe it is. Pushes the top of the tire out. So let me uh, get my stuff ready to try and uh, press this in, and uh, I'll start it back up. All right, folks, I'm back again, and uh, I've got my uh, DIY here uh, uh, bushing press set up. And I had to cut, uh, I had this left over from uh, uh, when I replaced the um, bushings in my uh, control arms on my uh, 65 Fury. And uh, I have yet to post a video of that because I did it a couple years ago and I don't know if I still have it. But anyway, I've got a 30 millimeter socket here and I've got just a plate here. It's like a concrete anchor plate. And then another thick washer on the back side and what that allows me to do is um and it's just a you know standard bolt i actually think this bolt is uh from the uh one of the left over from the suspension and uh you know sure you can uh you got all kinds of fancy stuff on the internet uh, that you can buy to do this but uh i didn't do that and this is what i have so uh i went ahead and started working on it i mean and i think it's uh let me see if I can get this uh, bearing out here and get in a position where put some pressure on it. If I can get that pushing this. It looks like it's moving. Hopefully it'll like it's moving. I don't know if that 30 millimeter socket seems to be just about exactly the same, but I don't know if it is or not. So, see in a minute here, if you can see that socket, socket's getting closer to the control arm. Make sure you uh, taking off the right bushing. I don't know if I am or not, but uh, the one I decided to take out. I guess I'm going to find out. Now you can take this to a machine shop or probably maybe one of the local garages and they could probably press them out and press them in for you. But uh, last time I tried that here, um, you know, it cost me $80 and they about bent everything and they broke all the stuff that I brought with me and took them about as long as it could take me and uh, they still charge me $80 so that won't happen again so, I don't know the only thing that I don't know is that I think I'm going to have to try You can see now the socket's up close to the uh, bushing. It's, I mean, it's the socket's right on top where there used to be a gap there because it's pushing the bushing out. There we have it. One bushing. 
And so, that's how it goes in in the car. So what you're supposed to do is, I'm gonna go get the other bushing, because I know which bushing it is now. This pushing here, which is actually these are aluminum and this is not because it's much heavier. Um, so what we want to do is you're supposed to take the center line as this piece is like this, perpendicular to the ground. So uh I'm not 100% certain where that is. See, if you ask me, it's somewhere. Where's my level? Get my level. There's no level in here. Here it is. So let's take this level. And, well, while I'm at it, I might as well get a marker. So, this piece were kind of like this, because you're, you're supposed to measure it kind of level. So, let's take this here. And put it like right in the center of the hole of the bushings, which is about right there. Well, it really doesn't. I think you just put a straight edge across it and I'm going to put a little mark right there. Actually put a big mark, but and then I just rubbed half of it off on my hand. It's right at the top of that line, so what you're going to want to do is there's hash marks on these uh, bushings there. There's a little, you can see those little marks there and there so you line those up where you know how much uh you know how much camber you want or you want to gain or lose and in my case i want to lengthen the rod i don't want to shorten it because if you shorten it you pull the tire in if you lengthen it you push it out so Unfortunately, these are made to like, the hash marks are made to like, line up for negative camber and I need positive camber. Kind of weird. So I kind of have to measure right across this hole. Another mark right there. The right. I put a mark there and I want to put a mark here. I don't know. Just a mark through the basically through the center of the hole. myself over so you can kind of see what the French I'm doing here.
So. This is how it installs. This is the inside of the car. This is the outside. Basically, I want this bushing to be like this. And with that line that I made, I need it to be right at the top of the mark that I made on the control arm. That's going to give me the longest, the longest position on this control arm. So I'm going to set it up like this. Uh oh, battery's running out already. I'm going to kind of set that up just like that, and I'm going to set my press up. Uh, I need this one. So I need this piece here. It's gonna go through here. I might have to tap it in because I need it to, uh, probably gonna have to tap it in. Thing. This piece is about awkward as anything. So I'm gonna see if I can tap it in just a little bit. Tap tappy with my three pound mallet. And uh, wherever it went. Because I kind of need it to stay in the position it's gonna be in. socket go this is the this one might work I don't know this one might work step it right there there we go didn't hit it very square, but it's at least it's in there. Need to hit the side. So you can see I got it started. It's not perfectly square, but I'm kind of hoping. Uh, actually fits over there pretty good. that because oh that's right the um, didn't even think about it because the bolts not in the center this is never going to be lined up perfectly straight so it has to go and it was going just fine so I need to keep going
right, I'm back outside and I'm getting ready to reinstall. As you can see, I got it pressed all the way in. The sun's kind of right in my face here. It's right behind me, so hopefully uh, this is coming out all right. But I got it on there pretty good. Nearly centered. I might have gone in it one millimeter over, but you know what? I was uh, kind of tired of screwing with it, and I don't... The way these mount one millimeter isn't going to mean anything, so it might on your car if you're, uh, you know, taking it to the track. But uh, the way my car is all kind of twisted up isn't going to mean anything. So I'm going to go ahead and install this one, and uh, I guess I'll. Uh, somebody said you really didn't have to do the other one, but you probably should. I mean, I have it, so. One point five plus or minus, depending on which way you turn the bolt, uh, which way you turn the bushing, and uh, they give you the you know two bushings for both arms in the kit. And uh, once again, kit bought off Amazon. And, yep, you can do this yourself. Just get out there and get her done. Give yourself a couple hours, you know, to get everything lined up in advance. Uh, unlike I did, eighteen millimeter socket and wrench, deep well, maybe a swivel, a couple of jacks, some wood, and uh, the press stuff that you saw, either buy yourself a press, take it and get it pressed, or you know, build your own like I did, DIY, and that's pretty much all you need, so hope you got something out of this, like and subscribe, smash the like button, doesn't cost you anything, subscribe to the channel, try and grow it, thanks folks for watching, and uh, have a great day.